Okay, hi, it's Kate. I'm going to see if I can show you real quick how to get the pictures off your camera onto the computer and then how to email them. So you want to start by either connecting your computer and camera together or by removing the memory card from your computer, uh, pardon me, from your camera and putting it into the slot on the card reader on your uh, PC. So I've got the little uh, memory card in my hand. I know you can't see that. You have to take my word for it. I'm just going to lean over here and uh, stick it into the stick it into the slot. There we go. And when you do that, or when you connect your camera, you'll get a little window that pops up like this. This autoplay window is asking us what. Uh, we want to do and uh, for purposes of this demonstration what we want to do is we want to import pictures and we want to use Windows Live Photo Gallery to do it so that's, there's a lot of ways to do this this is the way we're gonna pick today so I'll, I'll click on this and uh, you can see now it's uh, gone off and it's looked for new pictures on my on my card um, I, I could import everything I really don't want to do that. I just want to import what I want to import. I'm going to check my options here. And this is how I know where they're going. Okay, it says import to. Um, if I click on browse, now I can tell it, you know, what folder to put things in. And again, for purposes of this demo, I've put it in a folder called demo in my pictures folder and I don't need this one so I'll just get rid of that so it's gonna go there I'm gonna say OK now um, uh, the rest of it you can change these settings if you want to I'm just gonna go with that I'm gonna leave the file name the same this is important you wanna make sure that the box it says open Windows Live Photo Gallery after importing files has a check in it you do want to do that. You want to make sure the one underneath it that says delete files from device after importing does not have a check in it. Um, I'm also going to ask it to rotate the photos during import. Most of the time that's fine. Once in a while we have to do that manually but it's it's no big deal. So having reviewed and changed the settings that I need to I click OK here uh, and now over back here I go next um, I have uh, quite a few photos on this card, <laughs> but I only want to import these ones. Um, I have four of them. I can review them here just to make sure that these are the right ones. They are, so these should be imported. Everything else that has a check, that has no check mark next to it, shouldn't be imported. I can change the name of this folder if I want to, so I'm going to call it Office since these are little things that I've taken pictures of in my office for this demo. Okay, so now we're down to it. We go import, and I only have four items here, so it's going to take no time at all. And because we've checked the item in our settings that told it to open up Windows Live Photo Gallery after it was done importing, that's exactly what it's done. Windows Live Photo Gallery is open, here are the pictures that we've imported. Now, if we wanted to monkey around with these pictures at all, um, then we could double click on them. Now we're in an editing kind of view. We could put some effects on them. Um, you know, we could do whatever we want. I don't want to. I just want to revert to the original and I don't want to work with this picture anymore so I just go close file now I'm back to where I was and now I just want to mail two of these photos like um, this photo of my hats and this photo of my desktop picture these two photos have check marks in them these are the ones okay and I want to email them to somebody now I go over to this little icon that says photo email but I don't want to send a photo email instead I want to click on this little down arrow and what I want to do is send photos as attachments you can try sending it photo email trust me it's going to end in tears 
just send the photos as attachments. And photo size. If I pick original, I'm sending like, oh man, almost six megabytes. That's really huge files. You're going to overwhelm people with slower connections. You don't need to send that size of a file. The pictures are going to look totally great if you choose, for instance, medium. And now you see we're, we're down to a reasonable file size. I'm going to tell it to attach. And when I do that, it will open up my email program, which is actually different than your email program. But the principle is the same. I'm using a program called Thunderbird. You're probably using Windows Live Mail. So your window is going to look a lot different than this. But the idea is the same. Well, I've selected three pictures without realizing it. But there we go. I've got three pictures. They're attached here. You'll see them probably down at the bottom of your window. You'll see that they're attached. Now all I do is address it. I'm going to send them to myself. What the heck. Um, I say uh, picture demo. And then I type my message in here. And I'm ready to go. So I go, uh, I don't care about that. I'm just going to send it. And Shaw is giving that request its thoughtful consideration. And we're done. There you go. So we've learned how to uh, get the pictures into the computer and then get them into the email and then send the email. So if that helps, I'm really glad. Um, send me a picture. If that doesn't help, give me a call or send me an email and set up an appointment and I will come out there and step you through it with the computer that you have and the pictures and the camera that you have and the email program that you have. So either way is fine, but I hope this works. Take good care.